Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. I'm doing something a little different. Talky, a talky with my face. I don't know, the afternoon light was coming in and I thought it looked great. Actually, today I have a little thing to share with you that might be helpful for those of you who A, like to plan projects, or also B, if you're on a design team for any stamp company, I got a little insert that I'm gonna show you and share the download for free, so check it out. Link is right below the video. Just go to my blog and you will find the download there. Thanks so much and thanks for watching. No makeup. So here's a look at the form. It has been trimmed out and I actually have two versions. So this version is really designed for someone who works on a design team or, you know, has assignments that they have to do and this is your, your, your deal, right? But the, the beautiful part's coming. I'm going to show you this. I also did, this is what the full sheet looks like. Here's an alternate one. This is just for project that you're working on, the details and sketch ideas. So this could be a mini album, this could be anything you like. The measurement here, you're gonna trim it at six and a half by 10 inches on your paper trimmer. And this is going to fit perfectly into any eight inch wide container, which is pretty standard, especially for card makers who like to use those InterDesign or is it Linus is the brand, I'm not sure. I'm gonna show you in a minute. But here's what's so cool about this. We're gonna laminate it, shall we? All I'm gonna do, well, I'm just gonna get it lined up right about there. And then I'm going to send this into the laminator. The idea here is that we're gonna create something that we can use again and again, courtesy of the beautifulness of dry erase markers. So I recently got myself a beautiful collection of dry erase markers. They say fine tip. I don't think they're as fine tip as they said on the package, so I'll show you. I mean, I guess that's a fine tip. I don't think it's that fine, but it's going to work for our purposes. So let's get this laminated and then we're gonna cut it and we're gonna put it to the test. All laminated, right? You can see that, it's all shiny now. And I'm gonna pop it into my Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer. And what I'm gonna do is line up the edge of the white paper I don't know if I'm blocking the light there. With the trim guide, hold down both and cut. I didn't cut that perfectly, but that's okay. Gonna flip it, move it into place, line it up with the guide again, both down, cut, and repeat on side three. Let's get it in there. There we go, cut. And now I have trimmed all sides. I got a little close on that side, but that's okay. Cause now I'm gonna take my little crop -a dial and I'm gonna come into, let's see here, the quarter inch side, hold that in, boop, round the corner, and round the corner. And now I can use this to start writing. So now what I'm gonna do is pick one of my markers. I think I'm gonna use this lovely green because, well, Simon says stamp makes me pick a green. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write in. Let's see, I'll write lightly because it is, it's not as thin. Oh, that's a crazy color. Simon says stamp, all right? So I got that guy in there. And let's say my project needs to be completed by uh, December 1. And this will be both for a blog hop and a new release. And then if I have any other details in here, like, you know, note to myself, must use new CZ design stuff. And again, I, I think there's gotta be thinner tips out there, but oh, you know. And then let's say I had an idea for a sketch. Well, these include the grids. You can just kind of go, all right, maybe the card that I wanna do is one that says, you know, maybe it's just with big, letters and I have this idea because I'm using dyes that I haven't used before and you can just kind of sketch ideas and you can write, you know, pink, orange. Well, you'd spell orange, but you get the idea, right? And then what you do is you put all your stamps and other related materials that you might want to use behind it in the container. So shall we look at the container? But now you can see in the bin it goes and I've got different ones for different jobs. I can have all the products tucked behind there and it is a great way to keep track of all the things that I am working on in my creative space. So that's what it looks like in action. And then of course the cool thing is it's dry erase. 
So when you're done, it's just gonna come off and you can recycle them. I actually was asking my daughter about dry erase and I said, I said, honey, what kind of material or what kind of cleaner do you use with dry erase? And she looked at me, mom, yeah, yeah, honey. It's dry erase, you don't use anything. And so when I tested it out, I'm like, well, I'll be, well, I'll be damned. She is right. Yeah, I mean, I guess over time, you know, it's gonna start to look a little mucky muck muck, but now you can start again, and you know, you could throw a little water on if you wanted to. But the idea being, you can create your own little reusable dividers for your projects that are in process. That's it, it's pretty basic. And again, you can find the link to download this below this video. Hope you find it useful for your project planning. Thanks for watching everyone and have a fantastic day.